Hi, this is Jeff Meir from Automated Marketing, and today we're going to go over exactly how to set up and use your new jet stamp. Whether it's a regular jet stamp or a jet stamp 790 MP or 792 MP, the general setup and information on how these machines work is generally the same. First off, make sure that you have all the necessary components that came with your uh, package. You should have a speedy. You should have a jet stamp, a base station, a power plug, a braided cable which goes to the USB uh, connector in the back of your computer and connects to the base, a an ink cartridge which comes in a silver foil packet which you open up and a syringe to first bleed the cartridge and activate it. If you have a regular jet stamp and are using the regular uh, cartridges you will not need to bleed the cartridge as I will show you later in this video. Um, now it's time to uh, basically set up your machine. Uh, we assume at this point that you've already loaded the 790 PC set easy software. Uh, you will get an icon on your screen that looks like so. And when you open it up, this is the simple program that you will be using in order to set up your information to transfer to your jet stamp uh, and, and then activate it and ready to print with it. Um, as discussed uh, in other uh, information that I've sent to you before, the jet stamp MP is capable of printing on all types of substrates including plastic and metal whereas the regular jet stamp is only good for printing on paper and cardboard. If you'll, you'll notice here on the screen that there are four icons. One is for text, you have one for time, one for date, and one for numbering. There are various settings on these and you can get to them by clicking on right clicking and opening up properties and it gives you a choice on time for example of a 24 hour clock or for the um, AM and PM variety. The date gives you many different uh, varieties, two two day months, uh, four digit years and so on and so forth. Numbering sequences, uh, you can choose the uh, length of your number from one digit all the way up to uh, eight digits. Text so let's start with text. Uh, you see here I've typed in AMI. You left click and drag the icon down to the first line here and you'll notice that it previews down at the bottom. We can add the time in. It's very good to leave a, an extra space between the two icons on any given line. Uh, next let's type in something for the second line. And we can drag that one down as well and let's drag down the date. Now you'll notice that we have, uh, this is what your imprint will appear like uh, and um, uh, when we're ready to transfer the information to the machine uh, we'll click this little icon here. But prior to that we need to set up the uh, machine so that it will accept the transfer from the computer. First thing we do is to First thing we do is to press the button called mode. And then you'll notice here that we have a button called setup, un under setup. So you press the setup button and you'll notice that you get a word on your screen that says settings. You press the word next. Then you press the word call. Then next two times and then start and you notice that your picture reads stamp picture active at this point you can place the jet stamp back on the charging cradle uh, and I have already connected it to the computer and, and also to the power plug and you'll notice here that there's a green light on that tells you that the machine is being powered and you're ready to go at this point now that we've already set up the program and we're ready to transfer, we hit the transfer button and you'll notice that it is transferring. When that is completed, remove the jet stamp from the cradle and you'll notice that it says stamp picture OK. This tells you that all the information that you programmed into your 
uh, program has been transferred successfully. Now you hit return three times and you'll notice the new imprint has now transferred to from the computer to the screen. And now you are ready to begin printing once you've activated the inkjet cartridge. What you do is after you've taken it out of the pouch, you take the syringe and you draw it back approximately four or five lines from the bottom of the syringe. Place the top of the syringe over the little hole on top of the cartridge and force some air down into the cartridge. You'll notice that it bleeds some ink out. Make sure you wipe the bottom of the cartridge clean. Then press mode again. Press the word inkjet. Which brings the holding cradle over to the center of the unit. Slide the cartridge in. Pull the two little handles down. Press inkjet once again. And now you are ready to make imprints by squeezing the button underneath the handle. You'll notice that it'll print neatly there. Since this is an MP, you'll notice also that it prints nice and cleanly on plastic. Dries almost instantly. You can also print it on things like foil. Notice we have a nice clean imprint on foil. Also dries quite simply. And it'll also print on plastic bottles. So you can see that it has a wide range of uses. And it works quite well. At, at this point, you have pretty much uh, made successful uh, imprints on various substrates. And you can see that it has a wide variety of uses, as I said before. Um, if you have the 790, you'll notice that there it comes with four AAA batteries, which should be charged thoroughly prior to using it. Perhaps overnight is the best choice. Um, only use rechargeable batteries or the type of batteries that the unit comes with initially. If you ordered a 792 unit, then it will not come with batteries as it is a permanent plug-in type unit and you'll, note, and you'll notice that on your unit it has a little telephone type receptacle jack which will get connected directly to the power. That's basically it for now. If you have any other questions or would wish to see some other information about our products and our other videos, please go to our website, www.automatedmarking.com. Thank you.